Hi there, uh, welcome to my uh, small tutorial, uh, Cubase, uh, and I'm going to show you four things that you need to do in order to get Cubase producing some sort of music, and then how to make a mp3 file of it. So that's it, quick one. Okay, so let's dive straight into it. Uh, I just have to do this and this, I'm not a, just starting out here. So this is how it will look like for you when you start. It, this is the the workspace area. Here is some some editor area and so on. I will not show you much of how things works. Uh, works. I will just show you the basics. All right. So um, the easiest way you can make sound three ways in Cubase. One is samples. You just drop drag and drop. Second one is using VST instruments, uh, and the third one is to um, to record uh, with a microphone. So I'll show you very fast all those three things, and then I will show you how to convert everything into an MP3 file. Uh, and that's what you need. That that is what you need, uh, right? So the easiest way: sample and included in every um, uh, version of uh, Cubase, you find. Um, uh, samples. So you go into media, you go into loops and samples, and we have all these sort of samples included in also the elements, the artist, the pro version, what not. So we need a kick to kick us off. I just saw that I cut kick drum, and here you get listed all the kick drums, and that is how you listen to the samples. Ooh, right. Ooh. I like this one. So, what you do is just drag and drop, and there you see a new track is created, and here is another audio instance. Um, and now you can play it. Right, but that is not good enough. So let's do this. Right, we can see here uh, it's a grid. Um, one, two, uh, one through three. And you can zoom in and zoom out using this one. Or, or yes, I, I will. You will find everything out because, uh, and and here we have the waveform, which is way too big. So, um, right. So here we have it. But I want it to be on every bar for four bars. So I. Take this one and I drag it and I drop it. But if you keep, it, if you hold down the Alt key on your keyboard, if you have Windows, I don't remember the, the um, oopsie on the Mac. But let's see here, and then I push the Alt and I drop. And what you see here is that it aligns to the grid. And the reason why it does that is because I have this one activated. If I Turn off this, it is just moves freely. If I activate it again, I it's, it's stuck. And here you tell it um, where to set it. And here is a uh, bar, which is all of these numbers, one, two, three, and four. That's bar one, two, three, and four, etc. Uh, or you can have it on a beat, and that is the, those uh, uh, grids between. Uh, but now we, are, we just need bars, so uh, four bars. Right, okay, alt, and let's then press here at the top, and then we play it by pressing the play button. All right, that's a bit slow, isn't it? All right, let's have two beats a bar, right? So then we ha uh, oh no, I can't do it. What will that do we do then? Beats, right? So, dunk same procedure so and now we have i'm sorry press here right 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 okay that's great but then we need some hi-hats and then we can go into the media sample library and then i, I like that one drag and drop and another track is uh, 
I created here, and, and this one is longer than the second one, let's see. So, I go back here and I press play. And, well, that's not cool. So let's put it on the downbeat. Uh, you have a, on the beat, the downbeat. Okay, but then you see it's very long. So how do we s solve this? Well, we just drag it. Now we have reduced it. So you, now you can do the same. But on, on shop, why I did only this distance and not the entire distance is because the, uh, you can copy it by pressing in this square in the middle here. And you, then you can align it just like this. All right, so. Oop. Mark, delete. So, back again, play. All right, this is the new hit. Um, but then we need a melody, and let's do another sample, right? Uh, synth bass, and here we have a lot of bass loops. Sort of like this one. Well, I don't, but let's let's do it anyway. <laughs> That's so deep. All right. Oh well, well. Okay. This this is swell. So, but then we need synthesizers. Of course, we need synthesizers. That's one of the most important things. So then you have to. You can you can drag and drop, but I'll show you another way. You plus the, the plus sign, and you go to instrument, and then you get go down here to the list, and what you Oops, what you find is on every issue of, of, um, of uh, Cubase, you'll find the uh, prologue, which is a synthesizer, a virtual synthesizer, and it looks like this. And if you have a keyboard, you can play it. Not very impressive, but if you go up here and you, then you can find some presets, which is okay, and then you can tweak them if you like. Well, Razor blade, that sounds great. And then you can quick, quick. <laughs> then you can, you can, uh, can manipulate it. Right, so just meddle around. So then you can record it directly, like press on where you want the the, the recording to start. Then you press record. Okay, here you have the metronome. Uh, so I press this one so it counts in, right? <laughs> Great. Well, I just do <laughs> an example. I'm sorry about that. But all right, then we have this uh, virtual instrument and then we have a synthesizer. So let's get back and listen to what we just uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, but what you could can do is go in, and then you have the, the on the track here, and this is the instance, and you can get into the by pressing on the button I just pressed. I can, can show you. You go into the uh, uh, edit window here, and then you press this one, and then you can manipulate the, the medium data directly. So you can see everything here is off beat so we need to do something about that um grid right then you can draw in if you like so i want to use uh, i just show you briefly so i want to to draw in another note and this one sucks so and this one sucks as well so i just want to draw in a new uh, data and you go into this draw tool and then you all right so it's supposed to Okay, here's a note, and then we have another note. So, that's how you do it. Uh, now we have new notes in there, so let's, let's try this once again. All right, this is a very crap. This is shit, I'm sorry. 
Okay, uh, but then we need some, something else, and then we go into this plus sign, and we go. <coughs> sorry, we go in there, and then we go to uh, like um, every uh, most all almost all have the the sampler the the uh, Helion Sonic SE, and that's a sample, and there's a lot of pre. <laughs> it records uh, it plays off samples which is a sample instrument so what you uh, what we need what do we need here we'll need some vocals uh, what about uh, and then you go into instrument and everyone has the basics the artist so it gets into the art basics or maybe we can go to all but uh, everyone has the basics so here we have the choirs and that's a and you double click on it and then you load the samples there and you can play it <laughs> right okay that's what i want but i want to draw it in so uh, i just use my pencil tool and here we have an instance called the same and then we can press the, the this one um and then Right, so that's that's very nice. Okay, let's let's try this again, right? Uh, and this one is too loud, so I just show you that you can turn down the volume here. So I I, I do that, right? So I want, I press where I want to start. No, the line is where I want to start. <laughs> So that is how you do it. Oh, but then you need to sing something. And the way you sing or record anything is you have to set up your uh, sound card or whatever, uh, your microphone. Uh, I won't go into that, but I assume that everything is aligned and, and okay. And then you go to the plus sign, then you go to audio, and then you tell what is the source. Uh, my is an UR, UR22 MK2 input one is the microphone I use now, add track, and the only way to recall this one is by pressing this. So I, I just drag the, the audio here and let's start. <laughs> Best hit song ever recorded in my Okay, uh, what is happening here is that I'm using a loopback function, so you get everything doubled up. So if I go solo it, then it's only this channel, and then you can hear everything. Best hit song ever recorded in So, but I, w I won't recommend you using it. I could have just so, but that is that is the way you you record. You can can. Uh, uh, yeah, all audio sources. So, well, oh, this is a masterpiece. Oh, this is going viral. <laughs> no, it's shit. I'm sorry, but you know, you need to get this into an MP3 file if you want to put it on SoundCloud, send it to friends, or whatever. If you want to get rich, which we we probably would be. And in Cubase, I have a very particular way of doing this. You go into through the top here, and you drag these markers. And it is between these two markers. It's only it's what is between them which is recorded, and this is a, a very common mistake to do. If you do this, nothing will get. If you uh, get get on the file, if you get this, then you tell Cubase that it, this empty instance here in the project window, and uh, which it, it will record, but it will be empty. So you just drag what you want, and then you go into file. And you export it. You need to export it. Audio mix down. And here's my last last project. Uh, you file name. You will have the same screen as this. You will not have this if you had artist or the the element or any other other versions. But if you're a pro version of Cubase, this is what you will see. Uh, this is what you will see uh, on any other version. So trial we'll call this and book uh, you see this uh, the file name preview preview and then you tell it tell where you want it to be 
and we want it into music for instance and uh, then you press uh, you see what uh, is this mp3 you can wave you can uh, anything then export the audio and ta -da! you have made a hit so let's uh, have a listen to it uh, sorry about that trial Ooh. <laughs> right, so uh, that's it. So <laughs> I'm sorry about the quality of it. Um, I just this is just for show, right? So now you know the basics. Now you know how to make music in Cubase. So why are you sitting here? So hope you like uh, my, my new video. I hope you like the video and I hope you subscribe to my channel. So maybe I'll see you. Bye.